I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to take a look at Devin Townsend's Gift of Tone preset and a very cool trick that is happening in there regarding the wah block. If you haven't checked out the Gift of Tone series that Fractal Audio did over the holiday season, I will link it in the video description. There are some amazing presets, IRs, and blocks by an all-star cast of Fractal users. I'm going to start out with a modified version of Devon's patch right here. All I've done is replaced the wah and volume block with a wah the way I normally set up a wah. So it's just using the modal type in here. Pretty straightforward. Bypass mode is set to through. Take note of that. We'll talk about it in a second. And I've just set this up so that the source is external controller number one, which I've got a Fractal EV1, and the auto engage position I've just set to medium and position. So when I have my heel down on the wire, I'm just gonna have this wide open, massively chunky sounding Herbert patch. <laughs> Sounds massive, but you notice right at the bottom of the range of the wah, there is a very slight lag with the wah actually engaging and setting it up this way so that auto engage is working on heel down. There's just this slight inconvenience of going from your kind of wide open regular tone to like the minimum extent of the wah on there. And we could try and fix that by going into auto engage and setting the position to something like a fast position or fast speed on there. That will certainly help out. I could even change the off value so that it is at 95% so that when I'm toe down, the wah is bypassed, but I just kind of get the same kind of issue in reverse. In fact, this exists with real world wah pedals as well. Like when you switch them on, you're at an extreme end of the range. <laughs> So the pretty elegant solution to this is in Devon's Gift of Tone patch, which I've got right here. And you'll see after the input block over here, a wah block and a volume block running in parallel. And if I look at the wah block and I right click the control parameter, you can still see that the source is set as external one, but there's no auto engage happening over here. You'll also notice that the bypass mode is set to mute on the wah so that when it's off, it's not passing any signal. What's happening when the wire is off is that there is a volume block that is going to have its level over here assigned to external controller number one. Very, very interesting. The minimum is at zero and the maximum is at minus 33. There's been some tweaks made to the mapping parameter over here. But if we go back to the wire block level, you'll see the opposite happening there on the level parameter there. So that the minimum is at minus 64 and the maximum is at minus three. So essentially what's happening here, when I go heel down on the wire, you can see that the wire control is at the minimum value, but also its level is turned way down. In the volume block, the opposite is happening. The level is all the way up. So essentially with the heel down, we've got all our guitar signal passing through here and not going through the wah. But as I start to go toe down on the wah, basically almost immediately the volume block drops down. It does it in a very smooth fashion achieved by these mapping parameters. And you can get in there and you can tweak those if you like. No changes to the damping parameters or anything like that. We've just got the source again as external one. And as you can see with the wah, the wah level kind of comes up as well, but it does it in a much smoother controllable fashion. So essentially what this trick is doing is it is letting us create a custom taper to blend the wah in and out and have a listen to it at the extreme end of the range again. <laughs>
especially when playing lead lines, you can hear how smooth that transition is in there. So the last question is, how would you incorporate this into your own preset? I would do it very simply like this. I'm gonna go over to the library over here and I'm gonna hit the little triangle here and hit save on the while block. I wanna save the entire block so that it saves the modifiers. Let's hit save on that and I'll do the same in the volume block, save, the entire block. I'm just gonna leave the name as Dev's Gift of Tone. I'm gonna to change over to my main live preset and just add these two blocks in the same way in parallel. Let's do it. Here's my main live preset. Let's just have a listen to what the wire is doing at the moment. <laughs> Let's just drop these blocks in. I'll go to the library. Let's add Dev's Gift of Tone. You can see the modifiers are saved in there. I need to add a volume block in parallel to this now. And again, we'll just use the same library function over here. I will cable this up and I should have the same WAR settings as Devin's preset. I just got to make sure the WAR is engaged. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Personally, I kind of prefer the crybaby style tone in here, and I like bringing the minimum frequency down to around 1400, 1500 hertz on there. Other than that, this should sound pretty close to the way I normally like to use a wah. <laughs> one of my favorite things about the entire Gift of Tone series, even if you don't get on so well with the actual tones themselves, there are so many great little tips and tricks that you can pick up for your own sounds out of the entire series. Again, they are linked in the video description. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got requests for future Tuesday Tone Tips, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.